Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro, welcome back to Love Again. Today we're going to continue Life is Strange 2, so please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below, and uh, we're going to get right back into it. On the last episode, uh, Daniel wanted to go over to the neighbor's house, and when we were asleep, apparently he did, so we're going to go retrieve Daniel, figure out what is going on. Going over to uh, the neighbor, uh, Chris Erickson's. That, that's the boy. I don't know the dad's name right off the bat. But he's the one who's the adventures of Captain, or the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. That's where the other game tied in. Now, let's see what we can get into. I can figure out. There we go. We are going to get dressed. And hopefully Daniel won't be too hard to find. Anything? No. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. What do we do when we're home alone? Play with the train. If it would work. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Claire and Stephen must be at church. Ah, uh, so tempted to use it. Um, I could just delete my browser history after I'm done. Mm. We could. Well, maybe I could use the phone. It's been more than a month since I ditched my phone. Maybe the police stopped tracking us. You really should get your brother and respect your grandparents' rules. We had a good time decorating the tree together last night. Daniel loved it. Anything else here? Well... I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Good morning, sleepyheads. We let you sleep in today while we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. See you in a bit. Love, Grandma, Grandpa. P.S. Christmas. Tree is perfect. Good job, kids. P.P.S. Thank you for tidying up a bit. I'm going to respect the rules. No phone, no internet. Even though we should call Layla too, Sean and Daniel both love. Okay, let's get this brack back home now. Let me run around and look around for a second, though. We haven't got to go out the front. Merry Christmas. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. No, he's a kid. You can talk to them until you're blue in the face. There you will do what they want. A little bit of discipline here and there. Guidance. All you can do. Dude, move your ass. Who knows what Daniel's doing over there? He's having fun with the neighbor. Sure, they're playing with their uh, action figures. Nothing wrong with that. And I thought Daniel was the crafty one. Hey, he's probably out back. I don't see him up there.
wonder what went on between this kid and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. Poor no. guy. Why do you pull a face like that? Can I fix his eye? I'll just take the other At one. this point, he probably won't miss one eye. Yeah, if I remember right, that's the main door. Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the air. Wow. That's a lot of beer. Yeah, the dad has a drinking problem. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill him. Okay, yeah, that's an issue. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. That's if cool. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm going to be Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? Silver Runner, El Diablo's Loco, Professor Diaz. Yeah, Professor um, Diaz. How about if I'm like the mentor? Like Professor D or something? Uh, yeah. We'll figure out another cool name for you. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice Charles, to meet you. It. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. That's gonna Sean, piss off his grandparents. Presents for grandma and grandpa. Oh, that'll piss them off. They will worry. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? Because he's looking out it's for you. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh! Uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. You have them in the bathroom? I have something to read. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh... Score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, 
You have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends. And his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's uh, see. The car was a villain. I remember that. That was a villain. Um... Insectoid was Careful. a villain. It may be tricky. You were a hero. You were a hero. You were a hero. You were a hero. So we got look one, closely. Or is it villain villain? The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy. Okay. How did I do? You're good. You guessed all right. You deserve a little reward. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. That's awesome. After all, you're part of the team now. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit. The good guys. That like is the, the pirate. forest warrior. Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> Yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Uh, not afraid. Aren't you afraid? Maybe it's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris, it's none of my business, but... Are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Yesterday, Stephen and her talked about your dad. I think they had a talk with him. Dad uh, just gets carried away sometimes when he drinks too much. But... But we're cool. No worries. He's he shouldn't just... drink like that. He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well, I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. That's good. I have the power and I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Inch it off. Tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Such a it's 90s thing right there, being able to ride in the back you're, of a vehicle, because you awesome. can't do that crap anymore. You're welcome, Dad. Cops are so quick to pull you over and give you tickets for that now. Even if you are just going to the neighbors or across the street or whatnot. They do not play with riding in the back of a truck bed anymore.
You're two wanted criminals. Not that far from where your dad was killed. And your face has been plastered everywhere for over a month. We're gonna go to the market. You guys should have like dyed your hair or something. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Up line of Chris. Check the scene. Up line. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah. Yeah. What he said was very spot on. But don't forget what I said. As Chris will end up getting himself hurt or killed trying to do something. Wow. So many trees. Up here, grocery. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Bag trees. Ah, let me look at them. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Uh... Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, but we never surrendered. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Man, they're way more expensive up there than they are in Oklahoma. Damn. Behold, the giant condom machine. Like, 20 to 50 bucks is like the highest you're gonna spend here. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't like that great after all. Like growing a 12 foot tree, maybe a hundred, but... Dangerous mission. Hey. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Hi. Whoa. All good. The guy who painted that he must have been seriously high. Heck yeah. Sure. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. What can I draw? Time to take the pen, dude. What am I serving lower? Okay, got it. It's funny because the trees with such There's little detail looks like butts. On his paper. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. That's an amazing sketching ability. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> no. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? 
Like what? Uh, I don't know. Something cool. Ah, uh, okay. Big question. Draw a spaceship. Or UFO. Yeah, draw a spaceship from Android. I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure Practice. you will, man. Find something or some style you like to draw in and just practice. I drew so much Dragon Ball Z in Legend of Zelda back in the day. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog and be... Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli products. diet. Come take a look. Hey, some cider. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. Back on the sign. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old Lost town. Rogi. Thanks. Raji. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Right now, the Ericsons. Oh, I'm at the Ericsons. Ooh, you're with Charles? That's good. Didn't know he had any relatives. Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy, despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. Holla. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. We only got nine bucks. And honestly, all this is kind of crap besides the wooden beaver. Whoa. They oh, spawn in us. Shit. We this... only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Signs are more something Hi, I would everybody. look at. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis special. now. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Hi. This is a nice collection. <laughs> Why, thank you. I make them all myself. Whoa. Must be a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely too much for the money they get me, yes. How come? Well, people certainly don't buy as much handmade Christmas decorations as they used to. They're usually the best ones. The mall ones. has ruined every single shop in town. Can't do anything about it, and people seem surprised unemployment is going through the roof. It sucks. I know. It sucks. But I like homemade stuff more can't than do anything about it. other stuff a lot of the times. Right? I like to think there's always a solution, however frustrating that thought can be. Anyway, you've got better things to do than listening to an old lady ranting about capitalism, right? That's cool. Don't worry. Well, thanks for hearing me out anyway. He seems you nice. have a nice day. Christmas wreaths are nice, but that's more than we have. Steven definitely have a kink for Christmas. Pet that like these. Hey, it's Frank's RV. Oh, man, it would have been so cool to have one of these before coming here. This is so different from Seattle. Why is that so you know, low resolution? I think it's higher resolution here than when you zoom in on it. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty oh, loved this. I have a yo-yo around here somewhere. I, I know it sucks, but Daniel deserves it too, right? Hmm. Quiet morning. I don't like that we Dear just stole a yo-yo. We've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. 
Can I put my face in? No, I can't. She looks so out of place here. We'll eat her food. Cool. I like her purple hair. Uh, li listen. Listen. It's copyrighted music, so it's censored. It's me. Oh no. It's me. You've come to take my duality away. We'll eat for food. Can I talk to her? I can give her money. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. Merry Christmas. She looks so out of place here. Cool. Is there anything else before I go back to Chris and... Dad. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You thought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. You're not Me old. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kinda hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man. Sounds that wicked, sounds but that would be weird. incredibly dangerous. You have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught <clears throat> or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We picked the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, <laughs> what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> And what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I, I thought I told you. He no, likes he her. Did. He's crushing on Sorry, her. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? 
Hello, pups. Oh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> Well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. <laughs> Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? <laughs> Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. He seems Hopefully cool. He seems cool. See you cool. on the rail someday. Yeah. I'd like to know more about the stinky Doggy dog. So cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? They're literally here just yes. trying to make some money. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Anything that dude's a parasite. Why did they I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. No, no. You should not. You're gonna draw attention to yourself. Better not get involved, man. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. Don't draw attention to yourself. He already said he's gonna call the cops and then. They're pretty. Why is it like? Quit walking on your own. There's something here. This must belong to that girl. Hmm. Maybe I'll get into guitar one day. <laughs> Who knows? There. Right. They better not hang around here. Hey. Hey, what? Sorry. Getting tired of these parasites, if you know what I mean. Uh, not really. Just tired of lazy people, you know? Just waiting for useless governments to feed them. Hey, you look smart. You should check this out. It's not conspiracy stuff. Huh, <laughs> swear. Hmm, thanks. Glad to well, see you have to say it's not conspiracy stuff. Country. 99% of the time, it's conspiracy stuff. I see a lot stuff. of whining snowflakes. Nobody wants to work. Like those punks you were with. They're nothing but trouble. They you were trying sure. to find work. Thanks for the warning. I, All you I have to do to is shake your head and say yeah. thanks, Boomer. That's how they end up getting your money. It's great to live off your talents. But come on. They're not achieving anything. Hey man, you got a dollar? is not fighting the power this is why our country is broken if you had to listen to the conversation they weren't trying to fight the power at all they were trying to find work huh and how do you fix it by asking that question and don't let the government ever stop you look it's up to us to make sure our streets are clean we the people have to take care of the trash, right? I guess. We have to take yeah, care very... of our own kind first. Well, there you go. You know? Um, I think I do. You're gonna be racist um, too. Anyway, good luck with that.
Hey, it's Claire. Seems like Charles is waiting for us. I'm trying to figure where Charles we is. Enderblox? <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Shit. He's at the truck. I just said he's at the truck. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. If that Nick Hop dude would listen to the girl at all, they were literally just trying to go find work. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. And she That's wasn't even asking for money, she's asking for food. I find that very annoying. He wanted to pick on her. Why did the sound go up? There we go. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Cassidy? Um, Cassidy? Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Okay. Cute name. Do you like her? He does. She was cool. You're too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. I think it's tougher on you. Little, Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. The loss of somebody is a loss of this up, party. You know, just forget it. No worries. Don't bring Chris Didn't into it. That can make you uh, um, get him hurt. Uh, hey. How long are you staying at your grandparents? I don't know. Depends on how long Stephen and Claire will put up with us. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seem to care about Chris. But I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model. But I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. No, you, you should talk about your yeah, mom. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Dude, careful. Don't hit your son. Don't let Daniel Hello? have the talk with him that he hasn't have powers. Hello?
Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. No. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. You should have Daniel that was wash so cool his to face. Spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. You shouldn't. I know it's mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. That's something Don't Daniel really should me. bring up. Claire. If you don't want to. It shouldn't okay. be Sean and I'll him busting into the room. So you don't make a mess that can get us caught. They keep it locked. Um, real quick. What just happened? Right. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Probably in the grand. Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yeah, you should have cleaned up. <sighs> Locked door. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. <laughs> That's cute. I love the outfits, guys. Man, he looks so different. Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust oh, trinkets. So your bomb's name is Karen. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? Hey. Yeah, you don't want to no. see that. No, one wants to no see the way grandparents I'm underwear. Claire's underwear. Sharp objects. <laughs> all right, hold on a sec, because this is all messing up. Why is my screen? Up being full screen out of nowhere. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Sleeping pills. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. Holy Bible. What would have been different if Dad had taken us to church? <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Definitely not the one. Way too small. But we still but, took it. Let's see what it opens. I come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes. Old stuff. But definitely no hidden key. Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? 
We clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Well, it's his teeth, yeah. you know that now. Not much to see in here. I saw Grandma coming out the room yet. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Did I miss something? This, they said this key is too small for the door. We have to get into that room before they come back. What was Claire doing in that room? Is there anything in here? Maybe she put the key in her... <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Maybe she put the key in her pocket. Uh, what was she wearing yesterday? Why I'm looking in the bathroom. Cardigan. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. Found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. What are you saying? There's a ton there. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. It's like she almost never used those. Oh my goodness, don't do this, Ernie. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You, Ulysses? Hey Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. CD player? I miss my music. I think it's not plugged. Can it be plugged in? Man, uh, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Dear Karen, oh, maybe I could read it better. Thank you so much for your letter that you might have. Forgot your pen pal, it's so boring here. Your letters are the best thing ever. You're saying you get very lonely too. Sometimes up there in Beaver Creek, I'm so glad we found each other. It is funny, not that I have a big family. I'm so jealous of you being the only child. You get the whole house yourself like a queen. I told you before how stupid brother Keaton is such an immature boy, even though he's the oldest of all my siblings. He thinks he's so cool now just because he has a driver's license, whatever. Just wait till he can drive and we can finally visit each other. I hear my dad yelling about some, so I got a bell before he gets me. Please write back soon and I'll write as soon as you do. Your only favorite pen pal, Emma, I miss. Yeah. You finally left forever. The Green Choir. Coward. Hey Reynolds. I hear the Green Choir singing in the forest and the ancient gray rapping in the woods bell the song. The roots like fuses explode in reverse when I hide in my heart. Hearing the sound that makes me feel older than the forest, older than you, but younger than the crying river at my feet. If I slid into the soil, would the voices muffle like the face in the pillow so nobody knows I'm there? I sh could speak through the wormholes, but the that would be lonely. Lead down. So over the three tops, over the river, I feel myself leaving forever. 
Is that an amethyst? That is an amethyst. That's some quartz she right next to, to New it. Age bullshit. New Age, it's awesome. These pictures are so random. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. So, you were a friend of my mommy's? <laughs> Guess the no I phone rule wasn't care. such a thing back then. I don't recognize any of these games. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. There's a sock I can plug it in. Loved it so much. This playlist is boring as hell. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. What the fuck is wrong with this? Oh, hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so, Karen was already serious about running away. We're going to New York. Why did you wait that long? Disposable camera. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> Never been a big fan of hiking. But I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. With Lila. We've already, like, there's nothing else to check. You should close everything. Put it back. That's the same letter from earlier, These right? letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Let him read Come it. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, post office box. A cop out. In this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, if she cares, she would have looked for you. Change your mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. My goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? What would you expect, they're boys? Claire, we're sorry, but we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen, they went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules.
Mom's letter. You, you lied to us. Oh, I should have clicked so. We found Mommy's letter. She wants to see us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. All of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't Probably does. hear that. Gonna respect his grandparents. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail <sighs> just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, okay, that so was uncalled that's for. that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. <gasps> huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Dana, you gotta do it. Use power. You gotta do it. Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh Lord, what, what are you doing, Daniel? <sighs> oh my baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. Anna, you're gonna have to take it easy. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car's in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go up there. Dang. I knew going to the market was a horrible idea. Move your 
grass, bro. Shit. This way. Why would you stop and look at him? You didn't have that talk. You lied to your brother. You never had that talk with him. That would have been Chris's life right there. Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. That would have killed him. You're always telling him. me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, Age comes wisdom. it's so fun for me. Not necessarily intelligence, I'm but wisdom. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. That's part of him. You're telling him not to be himself. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. The P.O. Box doesn't give you a location. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? That's so I stupid. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. Yo yo? Gee. A yo yo? Awesome. Learn to walk the dog and around the world. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. We go north to south. Yeah, that train's hauling ass. I don't think you're gonna hop on that one.
That is like coming to a stop. You're either going north or you're going south. To be continued. Oh, that was episode two. I will probably call it there. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Were we wise to use our powers to save Stephen and Chris? Twice? I mean, we saved Chris coming down the treehouse and we saved Chris from the police car. But at the same time, we just injured another cop. <laughs> so, and there's always that. I do not think it was wise, personally, at all, for the boys to go to the market. But got the cops on them. I mean, we might as well call called Layla or surf the internet. If that was going to be the case. Curious what you think. Curious what you think of uh, Charles Erickson. Whether you think he's a good dad, bad dad, trying to get along dad. Personally, I don't think he is a good dad. All the bruises on uh, Chris's arm and the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Chris almost got killed twice. And was saved by Daniel twice. Now, not all that you can put on Charles, but still. I don't think his drinking and child abuse at all to be tolerated but we'll figure it out I do think uh, Claire was a little too strict and I think that she should have shown Daniel some stuff of his mom because he knew nothing but now he does kids don't even have her so let's look through here you threw the snowball properly, 36. You threw it at Daniel, 52. You threw it at Mushroom, 1. You threw snowball at Daniel and Mushroom, 11. Did that Daniel kill the cougar? Yeah. I thought Daniel was going after us, but we didn't. You prayed together with Claire. No one prayed. Claire prayed alone. You refused to pray with Claire and Daniel. You confessed to Stephen about Daniel's power. Wow, that's a straight 50. He helped with extra chores, 75. He told Daniel he did the right thing when he saved Chris. He didn't use Steven's laptop to log into your profile. He didn't use the phone to call Layla. He didn't talk to Layla and tell the truth to her mother. He didn't talk to Layla and lie to her mother. He used the phone to call Layla. You gain Chris's trust and get him to open up about his father. Tell Daniel to stop lying to Chris about his power. He didn't listen to Cassie's song until the end. I didn't know that was the thing. He drew a spaceship with Chris. He stole a Christmas present for Daniel. Could find him. He found several Christmas presents for Dan. Wow. He didn't get involved in Charles's problem problems. We did though. We talked to him about it. But Dan used his power to help Stephen, and he wasn't hurt. The cop chased you, and Chris wasn't hit by car. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew Chris could get severely injured, and his dad doesn't have a job, so they probably don't have insurance. He 
<laughs> Daniel continued to swear. I didn't know we could stop that. Daniel won the dice game while oh, cheating. I was trying my best. I don't know how we could have made him lose. Yeah, he killed the cougar. We were able to bury Mushroom. Daniel agreed to pray. Daniel didn't want to tidy his room. Of course not. Daniel was told the truth, but he continued lying to Chris. But to tell the truth. I don't know how I could have got him to t tell him the truth about his power when I told him to. Overall, Daniel is encouraged to use his power. Daniel used his power to save Chris from the car. Daniel didn't blame anyone since Chris was fine. Oh, those two would have been really sad. Daniel enjoyed his early Christmas present. I don't know if I have any friend to play that now. Alright. Well, that's going to be uh, episode two of uh, Life is Strange 2. We'll uh, continue on on the next episode. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and see you guys later. Peace.